or seven o'clock. That piece is good deal. Grandpa cut that piece today too. And he um, wanted to know where you wanted more rings at. Oh, in the... you want more of these? You want me to make more of these rings? Oh, well, one of those needs to come on this side. There's well, there is one for on it because I cut it. No, I cut them yeah. off the back, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, there wasn't one here. And then I wanted more rings, like, in the tack area, the hooks. Like in this. Hang up your bridles? Yeah. These little things. Because there's oh, only... Just, them, just hooks like that. Yeah. But I want a ring well, like that on this side. Those, only, those are mounted flat, and these are mounted right. on the one side. Oh, but, are they? Yeah, they're just half moons. Oh, yeah. yeah. I just want more she like back here. Chances are here. that probably was not factory to begin with. So the last time you guys saw the horse trailer, it was pretty rough. Are you coming? <laughs> but um, yeah, so we took out all of that and then put complete new metal in here. This red stuff is just primer for whenever the paint gets redone, it'll just stick better. What are you doing? Are you happy I'm home? And then we took out the side metal, put all new metal in here. This, we got this new bar. And then, yeah, I'm pretty excited. We're probably gonna keep these mats even though they're in the junk pile, but yep. That's what she looks like right now. Pretty happy with it. When I say we, I actually mean like my grandpa and my stepdad did all this, but yeah, it is much appreciated, so. Okay, so I think I had this in my one of my last vlogs, but I still have the saddle for sale if any of you guys are interested. 15 inch barrel saddle, seven inch gullet. Um, it's in really good condition and the bottom's good as you can tell. And here's kind of what it looks like. I'll do this. I hate doing this to saddles, but there's the front. It's just kind of like a tan color. And um, yeah, it has no problems. I just really don't need it. So I'm thinking of getting rid of it. You can see there's like a stain here. Some of this, which I think the people who had it before me just didn't oil it. And that's what that's from. But otherwise, yeah, it's in perfect shape. I just don't really need it. It's kind of dirty, but... Yep, if any of you guys are interested, let me know. And I am willing to ship it out to you in the United States, of course. But yeah, I'm asking a hundred bucks for it. So not terrible for a saddle. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm back. I know I haven't uploaded in like forever, but um, today I am going to work going to work right now and going to be working with Calypso which she is owned by the same person as Starburst so yeah um, she is she's not very old she's like she's like a yearling I think I mean I don't know her exact age but she's just a full and um, we're starting to do lots of groundwork and stuff with her so I will be GoProing that so you guys can see what I'm doing and whatnot and yeah I will see when I get there. This girl was so good today. I'll explain in the car why she was so good but yeah she did a really good job. She's starting to hold that trot a lot longer. I was trying to get her into a lope today just a short one but that's okay. Um, yeah good girl. Alright, so this is going to be my second day working with Calypso. Um, we're just doing groundwork and some basic stuff. Also, I'm sorry if you hear like loud banging noises. The horse next to us makes so much noise, it's ridiculous. Good girl. Hi. You remember me? Alright. Alright. I always brush.
wash them off right when I start just to so say hello and I don't like to just whip them out of their stall and just start running them you know so good girl all right so the first thing we're going to be doing is working with her feet I'll angle you down um She's not the greatest at picking up her feet right now, so we're just going to keep working at that. Good girl. And I always think the safest way when you're working with a horse who isn't good with their feet is to just use a rope rather than putting your face down there and get a better grip. I'm going to hold it until she holds it still. Ah, ah. Once she does, ah. Holds it still for me. I'll put it down. Let her take a break. Good girl. I talk a lot about pressure and release in some of my videos, my older ones. And um, this is what I mean. This is her release. This is the pressure. Good girl. Clearly bored with us. One more time. Good, good girl. Ah, she was gonna put it down. Even, and this is good for her. Last time I did this with her, she was just ripping and pulling, but that was good. Good job. Now we'll go to this back leg. The back legs are usually worse. She's got moving space on her line too, so. to hike it up super high just if she holds it there still for me good girl ah. that's all right if she's trying to move good girl you know what am I doing to you all right one more time This does take strength. You gotta be pretty good girl. Okay, so first thing we're gonna work on is just a little lunging. Usually what you do first, always with horses. Oh, she stopped, kept going, so I'm gonna back her up. And I always take the whip and just go like this with it rub it along them so they this will help so that they never really become scared of the whip or that the whip is gonna hurt them some horses you take a whip up to them and they instantly start freaking out never want horses like that I'll just wrap it around their legs a bit go from side to side just let it hit their body Good girl, and she's clearly doesn't care much, so I'm gonna give her direction. Good girl. And she has done this a little before. I'll just let her walk. If she wants to trot, she can. I'm just using a lead rope as well, so. Keep her moving in one direction. Encouraging her with the whip behind her, just dragging on the ground. Ooh. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Whoop. I did not ask her to move. Ooh, good girl. 
she wants to get a little closer, that's okay. She's asking, hey, can I come in your space? There you go. Cat, do not. I'm gonna do the whip thing again, just a little bit. And then ask her go the other way. Good girl. Oh my gosh, this cat is trying to get the end of the whip. Okay, so now is when it's gonna get complicated. We're gonna do some free lunging. Back. And when you're free lunging, you want to keep the horse going in one direction the whole time. You don't want her to stop and change directions. So it's gonna take a lot of me chasing her around if she decides to change directions, but It'll be a workout and some ground manners working for her. So we're gonna start this way. Ah, ah. Other way. Keep her going that way. This girl has a lot of energy. She's young. That's okay. Oh, goodness. Make her go the other way. Just want to keep her in one direction. And she is paying attention to me. I can tell by her, her eyes are looking at me. Good. She can go as fast as she wants. At this point, I'm not concerned about that. She wants to run that's okay ah. oh gosh okay well we're not doing that go on ah. Ah. get away from the door I'm gonna put some things in front of the door so she can't lift it get her going again gets by that door, put more pressure on her. Keep her, oh, what are you doing here? No, you're not getting out. Do you guys see this? Keep her moving. Now I'm not being mean to her, just keeping her working. There is a lot of stuff in this arena. Once she calms down a little. See, she's getting a little worn out. I'll stop her. Oh, oh, good. She's looking at me, that's really good. Good girl. <laughs> this is a lot of work, isn't it? Good girl. Yeah, you're doing a good job. Now I'll slowly walk up to her, I drop the whip. Oh. Who? Who? Good girl. Good girl. You got way on top of that thing, didn't you? I know. I'm making you work, aren't I? And you have to remember she is a foal. She hasn't done this a ton. So, you know, this is new for her. She's still trying to understand what I want her to do. Good girl. Now I'm going to go get my whip and we're going to go the other way. Okay. Ah, ah. Good girl. Good. I think she likes playing in that pile, honestly. I'm not putting a lot of pressure on her as long as she's going the direction I want. Ah, ah.
goodness, she's doing really good. Oh, 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 good girl, good girl, oh, easy, oh, see, she's kind of like, eh, I don't know if you want, I don't know if I want you near me, good girl. You're doing so good. You are. You are doing so good. All right. All right, I'll give her a little break. She's doing really good. <laughs> You're crazy pony, aren't you? She like destroyed this thing. You're nuts. Good girl. All right, so over here I've got some pom-poms. Now, nah, now, nah, back up. Now, the if she's really young and I introduce this to her, the better. Um, that way she'll grow up and not be as scared. But I got two pom-poms. Can you guys see them? I got pom-poms and a plastic bag. So I'm going to start with the pom-poms because they don't make a lot of noise. All right. Ooh. She wants to sniff it, that's all right. These do make some noise, so. Ah. Whoa, I didn't ask her to move. Now she's scared, that's okay. Making noise with it. Good girl, what is this thing? Hmm? Raise it above my head. Good girl. She wants to play with it. That's okay. She's exploring. Ah, ah. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I'm going to try and touch her. Good. So I'm going to put on the pressure. This is pressure. And release. Good girl. I'm going to rub it all over her down her legs. She's pretty okay with this. She's not trying to move away. Good girl. And I do always do this on both sides. You want your horse to know everything from both sides. try this. Good girl. And some horses are really scared of these type of things and that's okay. They just take a little longer with them. Make sure they're comfortable. She clearly doesn't really care about her hitting it. You can sniff it. Good girl. You are a good foal, aren't you? All right, so she's doing really good with this, so we'll go get the plastic bag because those make a little no more noise. All right, and my horse, Sugar, she's terrified of plastic bags. We sack out to it like once a year, but they do make a lot of noise, so. Good girl. Pressure. Release. She's a little scared of this one. That's okay. Good girl. No 
It's okay, I should move around a little. She's a little uncomfortable, so I'm not gonna swish it quite as hard. Good girl. I'll crumple it up a little and let her smell. Good girl. No, you can't eat it. Good girl. Now I'm flapping it pretty hard over here. Let her get used to that noise. Good girl. starting to back up a little. That's all right. And I'm flapping it kind of behind me. Because when you're dealing with the horses, you want them to trust you. So having me in between her and the bag will give her a little more confidence. Good. Oh, what was that? <laughs> was there a kitty over there? Good girl. And that whole time she was more focused on the cat than the bag, so that's good. There's a kitty over there, isn't there? Alright, now I'm gonna crumple it. Let her smell it. See if I can touch her with it. Good girl. Good. Good girl. That wasn't so bad. Eventually, we'll put this on the end of a whip and just kind of let it flat by itself without me holding it. She obviously trusts this a little more with me holding it and securing her. Good girl. Good girl. I don't know. What is this dang thing? not even paying attention. Now this is a big old ball. And a lot of horses have issues with big balls like this. That sounded really bad, but you know what I mean. Let her sniff this thing. She's pretty comfortable with it. I had it out last time. Make it some noise. Tell she's a little. Good girl. We'll bounce it up and down a little bit. Doesn't care about that. Good girl. Good girl. It's on a little hill so it keeps rolling back to her. You can tell she's got her one eye on it. Ear pointed towards it. Good girl. not that bad once the horse gets used to it. Do it over and over. Repetition. Take it. Throw it right over her back. Good girl. Hi guys. So as you can tell I am home now 
and I'm showered and everything and um yeah I had a good day at work it um yeah Calypso is a crazy horse obviously she thought it was just a great idea to jump on the pile of shavings and just like roll why not right I think she I think she likes that big pile I think she has fun in there but I guess um Starburst has been in heat and she was like pinning her ears at people and stuff like that so Otis told me that I definitely should ride her today to see if she had any attitude problems during heat and she didn't she was fine and completely normal Starburst so yeah and um now I'm just editing and getting ready to upload so I will Oh, oh, sorry. I'm busy doing things. Um, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.